In the last video, I stepped you through the process of sending uh, an email through Outlook using Microsoft Word and your database from Excel. We're still using those three products, but now we're throwing in even another one, a third-party tool from Mappy Labs. It's the Mail Merge Toolkit. There is a free 30-day trial if you want to give it a try. I will give you the uh, web address at the end of this video, and it's $24 if you choose to buy it. What this gives you is the ability to customize even the subject lines of your email and to include attachments along with the variable content within the body of the email that you get with standard mail merge. You need to set up an Outlook account and have it open and running in the background. If you are using an, a mail al alias so it's not coming directly from you, make sure that your Outlook profile is open to that account before you get started. So first of all, let's take a look at our data. So this is supposedly a student uh, acceptance spreadsheet, and here are the guardian or the parents' names. The email is uh, colored out so that you don't pick it up and share it with all the world. The dependent name is our student. This is the address, city, state. We're only going to be sending this correspondence to students in the United States this time, uh, and we'll edit that and filter that uh, during the process. The students are getting a scholarship amount we're offering to them, and we're going to show you how that formatting works, uh, just a review of that confirm file format conversion on open or dynamic data exchange. Uh, we did collect the, the student gender when they signed up, and uh, not only are they getting their orientation date, but they're getting a specific email based on their preference of where they want to live. We have three options. There's a dorm for girls, there's a dorm for guys, and there's a dorm for co-ed. So somewhere along the way they made that choice. This is the way that you'll be including those attachments by including the path on your computer where the file is that you want to attach. So what does that look like? Let me show you how easy this is. So here's a little window with the folder with the attachments. If you're on a Windows machine, simply hold down the Shift key, right click on the file that you want to include the path, come down on the list and left click on Copy as Path. So we're not copying, but Copy as Path. That's a left click, go back to your worksheet, and paste however you like to paste. And there's your path. And then you can use autofill, double click to drag, and fill that in for the rest of the entries. And now we're ready to go back to our letter. I'm going to save this and close it. So here's our letter. Notice that our scholarship formatting is not in the money format, and our date is in the short date. We want to give them the day of the week as well. So let's go to our mailings tab and get started. So we go to mailings and in start mail merge, I'm going to choose email messages this time. It changes the layout a bit, but all the information is still there. I'm going to select the recipients and I'm using an existing list. Go to the desktop and choose my database. So we get a different pop-up window since that file conversion formatting is turned on. And I'll click Show All, scroll down to the bottom, and this is going to be Excel Worksheets via DDE. I'll click OK, and I'll click OK for the entire spreadsheet. If you have a filtered area or a print area, this will be available in this window. This is new in 2013 where it sort of pops up a blank spreadsheet and then the file is open behind the scenes. So from the mailings tab, I'm going to edit the recipient list. And I'm going to come over here and only choose the students from the U.S. And click OK. And now I'm going to preview this. And you see the date is the long date now, and the money is formatted properly. So you have two options. Normally, you would just go to the Finish and Merge and the Edit Individual Documents. But after you install the toolkit, you get a neat little icon here called Merge and Send. 
or if you were stepping through the wizard, if you enjoy the, the wizard, you could just go through this and you would see the mail merge toolkit at this step. Either way, it's the same. I'm going to click merge and send and the mail merge toolkit comes up. So I need to say who am I sending it to? So this would be the email address and to CC or BCC, that's someone who will get every one of these messages. So if you're sending out 100 messages, that CC person will get 100 messages. The subject line, you can say welcome and you can even insert a field here. So we're saying welcome to the student. We want to attach a file, we just have to map. So you could add the same file for everyone, but we want to add a data field so that the students will get the attachment that relates to their choice in dorm housing. But we could just add the same file for everyone, like a map of campus. So I'm going to close the body of your email in. So we'll just use HTML filter. We say all the records because we've already filtered in the other step to just people in the US and we'll click OK. And we'll see everything is processing and being sent. Depending on your mail server you may be limited to what types of things that you can send, what file formats, uh, and what your, your sending limit might be. So you might have a sending limit of say only 100 emails at one time or so many per day, you need to check with your mail provider for that. So now Outlook has opened and I'm going to take a look in my sent mail folder and I can see all of these coming in that I had sent. So I'm just going to click on one of them. Notice it looks very welcoming with the student's name in that field. You can see that the scholarship information is correct and the date that they're visiting is correct and there is an attachment based on uh, the, dorm, the dorm assignment that this student prefers. So I hope you found this helpful and look at the Mail Merge Toolkit. You can find that at www.mapilab.com. So have a great day. And I'm Sandy McVay. Hope to see you back here on my YouTube channel. And if there's something you want to learn about Microsoft Office or Google Tools, uh, drop me a note in the comments section and I will do my best to answer your questions.